Tampa Congresswoman Kathy Castor is just back from a fact-finding mission to Cuba. She's just the second Florida lawmaker to ever make the trip since 1959. Castor said today that our close Caribbean neighbor is changing, and we need to change, too. The pictures show no sandy beaches, no icy mojitos, just sober meetings with various ministers and other Cuban officials. Congresswoman Kathy Castor came home convinced the 50-year-old embargo against trade and travel to Cuba is not working. I think it's time to try something different. Castor believes reforms in Cuba since Fidel Castro stepped down for his brother Raul should be rewarded. They are still a hardcore communist nation, but they are embarking on market reforms in their economy uh, that deserve encouragement. Castro believes Tampa in particular would get an economic boost by regaining its historic role as the gateway to Cuba. With her urging, U.S. carriers were recently permitted to take passengers on the one-hour flight to Havana direct from Tampa International. But those flights are mostly for Cuban Americans visiting family. Others are generally banned from visiting, which is why news of Beyonce and Jay-Z's stroll through Havana has raised such a fuss. Their anniversary escape is coming under fire. Americans are forbidden from traveling to Cuba simply for tourism. Cuban Americans debate these issues over lunch at places like Del Rio and West Tampa. Cuban board businessman Simon Canazzi, like many of his generation, believes lifting the trade embargo would be a mistake, feeding the regime of the Castro brothers. But he's come to believe it is time to open the island to unrestricted travel. I think the free flow of information to the Cuban people is what will really make a difference in that country. And also, as an American citizen, as a proud American, I have a little problem with my government telling me where I can and cannot travel to. Well, Kathy Castor says she's also going to urge Secretary of State John Kerry to remove Cuba from the list of state sponsors of terror. That's a distinction that's not even given to North Korea.